Welcome to Intello Videos. Thionic powered by Intello is very well suited for corrosion studies. With this Intello 1.5 version, we have implemented the corrosion rate analysis tool. Electrochemical corrosion measurements are fast, gives the quantitative information, and with the corrosion rate analysis, we can predict failure. When there is corrosion on a metal sample, in this example, iron is oxidized into iron 2 plus, and two electrons are released in the iron sample. This is called the anodic reaction. On the cathodic side of the metal sample, these two electrons are used for the cathodic reaction. The same amount of electrons are used overall. There is no net current happening at the electrode. The flow of electrons that transfers from the anodic side to the cathodic side is called the corrosion current, and this corrosion current gives you the speed of the corrosion process. Unfortunately, we cannot measure the electron flow inside the metal sample directly, so we are bound to the current of the anodic reaction and the current of the cathodic reaction. If you can estimate this flow of electrons, then you also know how much material is going to be corroded with respect to time. And this is what we call the corrosion rate. There is also the corrosion potential, which is the potential that the sample has when it's in contact with the electrolyte. You can measure this by just putting the corrosion sample in the electrochemical cell and measure the open circuit potential. The corrosion current can be described by the butler former equation. And the corrosion rate can be determined with the anodic and cathodic reactions. To measure the corrosion rate in the electrochemical way is by polarizing the sample and measure the resulting current. It is basically putting the sample outside of its equilibrium in the electrochemical cell. First measure the open circuit potential of the sample and then apply a potential which is slightly lower than the OCP and then swipe it up to some higher voltage. It's called linear polarization. Force the cathodic reaction first and then turn the anodic reaction. You get the current versus potential curve, which is called the polarization curve. From this polarization curve, you can, via the corrosion rate analysis tool, estimate the corrosion rate of the sample in millimeters per year. What is linear polarization? Linear polarization is where the potential swept slightly away from the corrosion potential, the E core. Depending on what you want to do in the sample and the conditions, it is roughly plus or minus 200 millivolts versus the corrosion potential. When we run this kind of measurements, you will get the potential at which the current is zero. You also get the polarization resistance, RP, which is basically another way of looking at the corrosion. It's like how difficult it is for the corrosion to happen. And at the end, you will get information about the corrosion current, the I core, which can be transferred into the corrosion rate. How we go from the current first potential curve to the corrosion rate measurement. When we polarize a sample, the potential is applied and the current is measured, which is always the sum of the anodic reaction and the cathodic reaction. The anodic reaction can be, for example, the rate of the iron dissolution into the electrolyte, and the cathodic reaction would be the rate of hydrogen evolution. Each current is expressed by this exponential term, which is called BA, anodic, and BC, cathodic. These are called the table slopes. In red, the anodic current part, you cannot measure that by yourself. In blue, the cathodic current part, which you also cannot measure by itself. What we measure is always the sum of two reactions. The black curve is what we really measure with the linear polarization and with the corrosion rate analysis, extract what is hidden at each side. When the potential is applied and far enough from the corrosion potential, the current will be mainly the anodic current on one side and the cathodic current on the other side. When we plot the current on the logarithmic scale versus the potential, you will get the table plot. It is exactly the same curve as the one before, except that the y-axis is in logarithmic. The lowest point here is where the current is at its lowest, so when it's close to zero. The potential at this point is the corrosion potential. 
on the left the slope of the cathodic part, the BC value, and on the right side the anodic part, the slope, the BA value. The corrosion current can directly transform into corrosion rate via this equation. It is just a transforming the speed of the electron transfer into the speed of the material disappearing of your sample via physical parameters like density of the material, the area and the equivalent weight of the sample. In Intello we have implemented this new command which allows the polarization curve to the corrosion rate quite simply. Run an LSV staircase procedure because you're mainly interested in the Faraday currents, which appears at the end of each potential step. Corrosion is a slow process where the fast double layer capacitances does not reach steady state. This is why we scan with a low scan rate to reach steady state after each potential applied and measure the Faraday currents accordingly. First measure the OCP, which will the corrosion potential and then run the polarization curve and get the table plot. In the plot, select the regions in the linear part of the anodic branch and the cathodic branch. The table analysis result window gives you the slopes and the intercept. The corrosion current from the intercept of the cathodic and the anodic branch will be transformed into the corrosion rate in given millimeters per year, or in a polarization resistance which is just another way to formulate the corrosion rate. Other parameters such as table slopes, the observed and calculated corrosion potential, the corrosion current and the corrosion current density are shown in the analysis results as well. The data table will summarize all the output from the table analysis from the corrosion rate analysis command. Click on the corrosion rate analysis command tile and all the results of the analysis becomes available and can be exported quite easily into another ASCII format. For this experiment we use a 1 liter corrosion cell with a 1 square centimeter steel sample in a seawater electrolyte. This complies to the standards of ASTM for example. We can minimize the IR drop by using a Luggen capillary so the reference electrode is very close to the surface of the working electrode. The corrosion is heavily dependent on temperature. Use a stable or controlled temperature environment by using a water bath and the thermojacketed cell, for example. Welcome to the Intello software. In the Intello software, we can find the default procedures on the left side of the program. Go to procedures. And in the procedures, you will find linear polarization table analysis. Double-click on this one. We can look at the sequence, but we can also find out the main parameters. In the main parameters, we've already have the surface area, the density, the equivalent weight, the OCP measurement, star potential, stabilization time, stop potential, and scan rate. So we can modify these main parameters with your own sample. We want to scan slowly, so I'm going to minimize this to 10 millivolt a second. And I want to scan around 200 millivolt plus or minus the OCP. So this is minus 200 millivolt to plus 200 millivolt versus OCP. The OCP is measured for one minute, and this is the parameters for my steel sample. Everything is set, and the data will be recorded with an OCP measurement, the polarization curve, and the table plot. At the end of the measurement, we will do the table analysis. So we press start, because the procedure is loaded into my Vionic system, and the start button becomes available. We measure for one minute the OCP. And if you are already no or stabilizing for a long time, you can accept these values. So you don't have to wait for the one minute. Normally you measure for a longer time to get a stable open circuit potential. So we can accept this value. 
and then the measurement will start. It's stabilized for five seconds, and then we get the polarization curve. And at the same time, we can see the table plot. That's just a logarithmic scale of the current. Here you will find the E core, where the current is zero. You see, at zero current, you will find the corrosion potential. The measurement is finished. And now we can go to the sequence. In the sequence, we'll find the corrosion rate determination. And when we double click on this tile, we can select on the on the branches the different areas of our interests. The slopes of the anodic current and the slope of the cathodic current should be between 20 and 200 millivolt per decade. If you have uh, the slopes between 20 and 200 millivolt per decade, then you are in the linear region of your measurement. And this um, is important when you do the table analysis, that the intercept of the two lines are at the same level of your corrosion potential. We can also visualize in another way. Some people like to have it like this, and you can do the same analysis like this or like this. So it depends a little bit what your preference is, is how you want to measure the corrosion rate. You get all the data, corrosion rate, polarization, and all these data into a data table, this one here, and this data table, it's easy to export into another format, an ASCII file or Excel file. Thank you for watching Intello videos. If you found this Intello video helpful, please like and share with your colleagues. You can subscribe to the Metrum Autolab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.